for two and a half years, almost three years. And I really wanted to take acting as my career before radio. I was pushed into the radio business. A lot of things that I cannot say, some of these big names actually killed that dream because they want something they to, to give you something, right? Parents. This is a conversation we're not ready to have. <laughs> Yeah, this is the conversation we're already to have. Big names. Ah, no. Just give us uh, oh, a little. No. Just drop, drop something. Just drop something. Let's let's give them something to talk about. No, no, no mention names. Oh, just give us an example of what you face. Just one, one example. You don't need to name names. Just tell us God. what you went through. An example. Do not I mention will it. Not. I will not. So you get to meet some um, directors, producers. They'll tell you, okay, you have you have the face, you have the complexion, you sound great, yeah you would fit this role and they tell you i will send you your script next week thursday but come and meet me at so 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 wow. hotel let's talk about the let's the talk role. about the, the role of hotel. Yes. <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. yeah i'll oh, tell you where the motivation you, comes from right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then when when you are vocal yeah when you are vocal they don't tell you they don't start calling names I pushed this person. I promoted this person. Who do you think mm. you are? You that I'm trying to help. So they make it seem like they are doing you a favor. All and right. And there was this particular direct. That if we sadly, they, 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 are they pass you around. This if you, oh, wow. that's what I'm saying. No, who are the people they pass you, they pass you around. Us? If you meet, <clears throat> if you meet the production manager, the PM, he tells you, I am the right person to meet because I would, uh, there is a word for it. I would screen you. Yeah. I would screen you for this role. And if you're not sensible enough, the PM takes from you and then hands you over to the producer. The producer tells you, I produce movies, your role, your stature. I will produce mm. a movie that will suit you perfectly. Mm. Mm. You're going no, to be the no, lead actor. No. Yeah, those, those are the lumber the, they the give. I'm really. serious. <laughs> They'll tell you, yeah, they'll tell you, I write a script that will suit you. You would be the, sometimes they'll tell you you'll be the lead actor. Sometimes they'll say you'll be the lead actor to a notable um, celebrity, yeah? And you, you feel like, okay, this is my pathway to greatness. If you fall for that, the producer takes, on set, when you see the director, the director, if he wants to be petty, will tell you you're not that great, you need some touching, or they will replace you. And you, you feel like you've gotten to this mm. part, so why not just pay the last price and be there? Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. It's crazy. It's crazy. Then, I then just after see all those, me, I was like, well, after yeah, all those people that own the movies, then your fellow actors too want to... <clears throat> yes, now. Was it not on my life that that girl came and said the act, actors, one actor yeah. sent her to go and buy uh, Coke and mm -hmm. she don't move in the town? Yeah, I remember. I'm on Gee, you were going to tell us your own story. story. I'm looking for my to. number one gifter. Send me those money guys. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I I've been doing well from when I was in my mother's room. Me also. Hmm? Are you, oh, are you also in there? <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's sad. So for the guys, when you don't have these things to... You don't have anything to give. You don't have money to buy yourself more positions, more roles. What do you do? You just have to give yourself... And it's very sad. Possible. You know, that's, this is the outcome. This is something you'd have loved to do, you know. Well, it's a craft that you have loved. But because of all this nonsense, yeah. they have made you now, you have sort of tweaked your calling to radio. It's, don't don't, don't, don't give it up anyway. Don't give well. it up. Because... When I get... When I... When yeah, I get there will legit always be I legit producers that are not dirty and being annoying and all that's out there. I want to, if you're good, I think now, unfortunately, people don't do anything on merit anymore. I'm happy yeah, exactly. Nigerians are encouraging Sylvester, that the, the actor. No, no one top down, you know, what he's doing. 
and um, yeah. it's they should, they should, they should. They should. They should. Absolutely. Uh, they, they, they must. Yeah. They must. Absolutely. So, Remy, I want to ask you a question. Was there ever a point in your life where someone wanted to actually do it to you before they gave you a job or a role or something? Uh, I'm looking for my number one gifter on TikTok before you answer that question. Joseph Nwache is my number one gifter. Uh, guys, follow my number one and my number two gifter. Eko Mothi is my number two gifter. Bro, I'm be, looking for my Remy, number one and my number answer. two gifter on TikTok. Yes, go ahead. I just remember about something uh this is linked to the question you just asked Remy. when i was in lagos mm. you know i used to do fitness oh. awareness so i used to do a lot of um yeah i used to do a oh. lot of um, aerobics exercises pilates uh, aqua aerobics that's aerobics in the swimming pool stuff like that back in the day so i used to have this client um uh, um this client on the island and uh, not to say much um She's uh, someone's wife. Husband is very rich. Husband paid for my services, paid in full. But the woman wanted to. <clears throat> hey, you don't. Oh, I run, man. I run. Oh. <laughs> You're right. Run. Yeah, after like a few sessions, the woman started uh, trying some things. Oh, I mean, just... woman. Oh, okay, well, I just because I had to give uh, the husband. Uh, Part payment back, and I formed one story that I was not in town or something. Huh. Yeah. Oh, wow. So things like this happen. So of course, when you want to go and do a job, and you want to be a professional, you still get, you know, people that want to just test you, you know, and uh, ruin your reputation that in the long has run. Never really happened to me, but I'll see. For me, it was a pastor that tried it with me. A pastor. pastor. Yeah. 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 Tell us, give us this. Give us this. He liked it. He liked it. He was a pastor. So this pastor was my mom's pastor, right? And the way the guy used to look at me, you know, when he like drive past the house and all of that, I knew he was up to something. Do you understand? I was quite young. Eh, I was really young then. And then the pastor would tell my mom. I want to see your daughter. Tell her to come to the house. I want to pray for her. I want to do this. I wasn't going to my mom's church because I didn't like the man. Do you get it? You know, you will know when a guy like is into you, the way he looks at you and all of that. So a married man, and he was never alone. The time he used to like drop by at ours, he was always with his wife. And the wife would like give me one kind of, you know, bombastic side eye. <laughs> You know, like okay, my husband likes. You finer than the wife. Were you finer than the wife? I don't know. She was fine. I don't know if I was finer. You know, I couldn't be bothered. So and my mom, every morning we will argue. Go to Pastor Soso place. He wants to pray for you. Go. And I thought, oh my god. So when the trouble was too much for my mom, I said, okay, let me go. So I went to his house early morning. I was like okay yeah i'm here eh? then the next day the pastor was praying for me the wife was in the house in the kitchen you know getting the children you know ready for school and all of that and he was like patting me on the back you know he started with my head first and then his hand was on my back and rubbing my back i was like maybe like maybe between 17 and 19. Ah. You know? eh? Yeah, I was that young. Oh, oh, he <laughs> His hand, he was, he was rubbing my back. I thought, okay, is this Maybe part of my uh, back is normal now, Remy, I can't Maybe he was just in anointing. He was just <laughs> blessing my, my back. Mind. No, he was rubbing my back. And oh. I didn't like... As in your back, eh? Yes, now he was rubbing my back. You know, just oh. rubbing my back. Oh. I thought, but then, oh. did it go down all the way? Yes. <laughs> No, he didn't. I was sitting down, so he couldn't. Yeah, this guy, which I go down the way. Ah. Go down low. No, he didn't. So then the next thing, he just moved close and was trying to kiss me. Ah, I gave ah, him. Ah. I gave him Fast. the hardest, is it, is it, test is it a Pentecostal pastor? Yes, Pentecostal. Wow. The, the slap I gave him, I, did, I, I didn't even plan it. 
Do you understand? It was like you a slapped him, I mean, you slapped his face. I slapped him hard on the face. And his wife ran from the kitchen to the living room, like, what's going on? She heard the slap. And I stood up, like, okay, what's going to happen? Do you want to tell your wife that I slapped you? Or should we continue with the bad bulls? Because I was angry because already I was coming with the anger from my mom because she was on my case. Like go and meet him. He wants to pray for you. She she didn't know, you know. Oh, but man of I God, knew. let you touch the anointed. Which anointed? Do my, <laughs> who anointed me? Who anointed me? Well, I started speaking in tongues, man of God. You slap the anointed. Yeah, so that is, he owns the church. Ah, owns the church. And the wife knew because she knew. We know with that expression, because when she entered, when she came to the living room and she heard the slap, she just stood there looking. The guy, the man was in shock. He was like, hey, all right, say hello to your mom for me. Okay, bye bye. I just turned back and didn't say anything. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't tell my mom because my mom would have been so upset. Which is wife in the kid. You didn't tell your mom. No, I didn't. I should tell my mom that I slapped that pastor. Yes, now that he was trying to kiss me. No, no, no. So you didn't, you didn't tell your mom. I'm sure you told your dad because I know you're close to your dad. Did you tell your dad? Oh, I didn't tell my dad. My dad would have finished him. My dad would have finished that. Like right now, he will be in jail. Wow. I didn't know. I didn't tell. I didn't uh, tell. I didn't tell my parents. Uh, I didn't tell my uh, parents. But, but what, it stopped. What, it stopped. In Lagos. You know, it stopped what, in Lagos. This Lagos. was in Ibado. Ibado. I want about drunk yeah. pastor. Mm -hmm. I want to hear drunk man. I want to hear drunk man. Drunk man. Drunk man. Imagine what you were thinking, man. Pastor, no, they shame. I'm a kid, teenager. Can you imagine? And with four kids. Four, either four or five kids. You know? Tama, baby. <laughs> Hi, Samaria. Hey, Let me stand up. Sa Sa Samaria, you? Samaria, Samaria, be like best way that we could all stop past the way we Samaria, Samaria, this way. Uh, Samaria, come and tell us. He's not telling you only anything. I gave him this a bad boat. Who be the person? Nah, that if he's... <laughs> I think I'll beg you. Let's okay, okay. Okay. okay, once we get off the line, I'll be calling one-on-one. On one. I go gossip that I'll give you, no be now. I take or beg you. Maybe they don't say that me talk him. <laughs> because if I talk him, then go no say that me talk him. And he go be like, say I don't fuck him. You know what I okay, mean? Okay, okay, no problem. Uh, we they talk about when um, Na Ada first tell us her story of when she want to enter Nolly with her small picking. Now everybody where they there want bench him. So has there, ever be, has there ever been a situation in your life as a woman where bench him was put on the table say you know what nah. this walkway they find bench me this visa bench nah. you know i've never been in that situation before no man has I ever one time, asked you i know one time i was um somebody reached out to me one guy i used to know so they wanted me to feature in this movie they did which i actually participated in but along the line because i mean i was more on the bigger court because me and one other girl that came from us but one of the other actress that pulled up why the rest of them were auditioning and stuff like that? He was like, I don't know for some. His name is Ike. He was just being aggressive. I don't know for some reasons because, I mean, to me, I was just doing it like they weren't gonna pay me anything, and he was just kind of um, oh look, why y'all thinking like? I mean, I don't know, but he was telling the rest of them that we're auditioning that they should see the girl and I that we came with our own mob that we had our own mob and stuff like that. So I've not been in that situation before that somebody would tell me. Oh, you have to, you know, you have to dance well, to my call. Uh, Samaria, can I ask you a question? Hello, Hi. Samaria. Can, yeah. I, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. What about, Samaria, this question goes to both of you. You and um, Remy. What about in university? Yeah. Have you ever had... You? Oh, okay. University I'm fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Have okay. you ever okay. had... Um, have you ever had a situation where a lecturer wanted to, <clears throat> okay, to give you more marks? Okay, I had a like that when I was in school. So the, the lecturer, everybody, we all knew him to be one 
you know, peanut head of a man. And do you know at some point that the freezer had to bring a card? I brought, he wasn't doing it not to give, in fact, the man, he taught us, I don't want to mention it anyways, but what I can say is he taught us statistics. And if you know statistics very well, you know how difficult it is with bias statistics and stuff like that. So the man is so, his personality is something next that he, if, let's say for example, I remember one time we had his test. And those of them that managed to score 17 or 18 over 20 or stuff like that. So during the next test or during the exam, he had them sit at the stage and he kept telling them, yeah, you scored 15 or 16 over 20. Come and sit here and write that thing you wrote. Like maybe you score 16 over something. <laughs> the man was a character. He kept disturbing me. I had to get a card. I printed the wedding card. I told him I was wedding. <clears throat> I had my ex then, you know, that used to live in London come down, I presented a wine to him. I told him I was getting married. And he, the fact I told him I was getting married was not enough. He still wouldn't, you know, take his eyes off me, okay? So what I was doing, I'm not gonna lie is, I had to start spoiling him with money. Anywhere I see him. Because of that man, I was putting $100 in my wallet. Anywhere I see him, I'll give him money. I kept doing that till, he didn't want to take his eyes off me. And for those of them that would even go and stop him, after certain demand, he still wouldn't even give you C. The least he would give you, even though you sought him, is D. The man was so mean. <laughs> but the good thing is, it was a borrowed curse. I didn't need that to pass as a nurse. It's not like I didn't need that, but it wasn't like all those biology, chemistry, and the rest of them that we needed. But, oh, that man was a peanut head. He, he really, at some point, he fed one of my colleagues. He even messed up with her, and he came up and he said it publicly. That's the most annoying part of it. He doesn't care. He would say it out you know, before the students, like, you don't want to join the ministry. You don't want to join the blah, blah, blah ministry. Okay, stay there, no? But they could tell you. And he was me. Wow. Oh. He was a peanut head, honestly. Mm. So, another question. But if we're talking about actors, I don't want to spill the beans, like, I mean, the guy is hustling. Let him go ahead and hustle. There are a lot of them here that are messing around. Women are feeding a lot of them here. They hang hey! Oh, they're 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 in the UK diaspora, one full alone journey. So you are saying they are alabados. What? They are alabados. Oh God. <laughs> How do they translate an alabado? People are saying hundred dollars a student. Hundred dollars was nothing. And to think that somebody wants two hundred dollars for my wallet. I don't know who I gave a list on it's two hundred dollars for my wallet. I will never forget that incident. They got police but this, the, this this uh, this this uh, says Samaria no to Samaria no today don't they spend this INEC money. Ah, let me say tell you. I will tell you. It's not about INEC, but when I was in when I was in school, I was into business. That is no, I did business when I was in school. Okay. I was into business and I'm not gonna lie to you, I was comfortable. Those of them that knew me, they could tell, they could, you know, attest to that, that I was doing good. I mean, I was really doing good. Mm. But that's mm. back to me. So back to what we are saying, that those of them here, hiding under the umbrella of um, whatever. Meanwhile, they all- No, they were abroad. They say you are <laughs> alabados. You say you are doing the, the alabados business. The funny thing is that they can't even come out fully. They can't even come out with their full chest. So they, they sneak, they do the alabado. They sneak in and out because they don't want Akata to throw them out of the house. Hey. So all those things. Hey. Ah. Even the ladies come game here. Game. I mean, I understand that what it means to hustle, right? Like the other girl, one time she was here, she was working in one of the restaurants in LA. That's where a lot of them like to hang out when they come. That's where they are. You see them doing Uber, you see them doing working in restaurants, you see them getting fed by women and stuff like that. And they still come up and act like they are God. Make mm. mm. I keep quiet, I beg. What do I know? What she was told not to say. Samara. Ah. Finally, broken the table. The table. Man. But Finally, it's true broken. now. So Nigerian actors are abroad. It's better you are in Nigeria doing okrika than being abroad. What about that? Doing that, that guy. I saw that guy. Oh, I, mean, I saw no. him somewhere. Oh. Well, he was here because I saw a picture last Christmas. Remember when I told you they duped me, right? You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. Lady yeah. That we, what, the lady that I was planning the trip with, one of them didn't go. So I saw a picture of her with, um, you know, a few friends. They, they took 
you know, I think it was a house party or something with that guy, that sly of a guy. Because I remember one time I saw him in Nigeria and I saw him again in that food. I was like, okay, probably maybe because they were having a guest. That's why she didn't travel with us. But so, I mean, it could be he came for his business. I don't see anything wrong in somebody coming and doing business. I mean, that's what fits him. Like y'all are saying, it doesn't make any difference with those of them that claim they are doing online influence and blah, 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 blah. It all depends where you have to hustle. And it's a good thing for them to see that their role model is out there and under the weather making sales. You can imagine if people do that, why can't you? At least he's not asking any of us for food. No woman is feeding him. He's not tiptoeing and sneaking in and out of the house to make phone calls and coming online to act what he's not like. He's being real with himself. So we do. Faria, I'm definitely calling you after this live. You have to tell me who the Alabodos are. No. We need to know. <laughs> we need to know. Vic, exactly. thank you so much. I want to bring you another guy. One guy wants to share his story from America, oh, so we can have two babes, two guys. God bless you, Vic. Vic, I want you to confirm that I'm a very, I'm a very old man. See you. He's very old well, man. How old? Old. Very Don't like him, mom. Look, Vic is yeah. actually very yeah. good looking. He's way more good looking in person than on video. Oh, okay. 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 Person on video yes. Vic, fine boy square. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong with the two of you? One, 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 one. If I ever see you looking at Vic again, you will not spoil his anointing. We are let us He's a married man. No, I don't know. He's my brother. I'm already taking your. Maria and Remy will not spoil the anointing. He's married though. Sending him a request. 